With the Nintendo Switch apparently selling out everywhere and becoming a big hit, Nintendo still really isn't pleased with its outcome. They want to go even further, and by further, I mean more types of games. And by more types of games, I mean 3DS. According to Takashi Mochizuki from Wall Street Journal, he states, A surprise, analysts say, is regional breakdown of light sales. It's similar to consoles selling 800,000 in US versus 390,000 in Japan. Usually Japan leads handheld at launch with US catching up at the end of the life cycle. Analysts say light might have found new market in the US. He then goes on to state that the result is encouraging for Pokemon games coming this month. Nintendo Chief Furukawa said company would make more 3DS franchises available on Switch to convey appeal of light. So it looks like the US is really taking advantage of the Nintendo Switch Lite, and Nintendo wants it to reach more population such as Japan like it normally does with its handheld consoles. And what did the best in Japan? None other than the Nintendo 3DS. And they've seen this, and they want to make an extension out to the Nintendo Switch. Now before we get our hands dirty and start looking at all the possible Nintendo 3DS titles that we want to see on the Nintendo Switch, I also want to note that there are also unplanned Nintendo 3DS titles that might be hitting the Switch as well. It was noted that thanks to the great Great success of Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. It was a joke. It was a terrible success. It was it was a failure. It only sold 11,000 copies in its debut month, which is not good at all. This actually made Nintendo backwash and take back some of the games that they had planned. And one of those games was an unannounced Fire Emblem game uh, that was supposedly going to be a remake of a past title that never came into fruition. Now let's start the list off with my boy Link because he has a lot of titles on the 3DS hardware. Starting off with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask because these games are big, big games. These games are gigantic 3D exploration games from the Legend of Zelda franchise, and it almost is mind-boggling to think that it actually came on the Nintendo 3DS. I would love to see these games on the Switch with HD graphics, and I remember when Majora's Mask was announced for the 3DS, many people were really upset that it wasn't for the Switch. But alas, it finally came out again so that we can have our hands on the game besides Virtual Console and the original Nintendo 64. I mean, let's just take Xenoblade Chronicles for instance. It came out on the Nintendo Wii and then again on the 3DS, but now it was just previously announced for the Nintendo Switch in 2020. So there's absolutely no excuse for why any of these games could not appear on the Switch. Link Between Worlds was a top-down view classic-style Zelda that was very reminiscent of Link to the Past, and it was one of the most beloved, if not the best game on the Nintendo 3DS, and I think many people would love to revisit this game in brand new HD, or even the same art style as The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, now on Nintendo Switch. And then you have Triforce Heroes, which was extremely fun to play, but you couldn't really play by yourself. Yes, there was solo mode where you controlled all of them by yourselves, but it was extremely tedious, and it really worked better when you had friends or other people to play with. And let's face it, you were often left stranded to play by yourself because the lobbies were empty with no players to be seen. And this was kind of a bummer, but let's see if the Switch would be any different, considering the fact that there's a lot of units out there, and not only that, but it's a Zelda game on a home console, I think a lot of people would play this with which would get the play value to go up. Next up, we have Kirby with Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, which are two very great games. And lots of people really think that Robobot is the superior Kirby game, one of the best ones in the series, but I loved Triple Deluxe. Either way, they both were really good Kirby games, but the only way to play them is on the Nintendo 3DS. Why not put them together in a pack on the Switch? Let's face it, Nintendo's never going to do that. But it would be great to have two amazing Kirby games from the Nintendo 3DS make its debut on the Nintendo Switch, because I think both of these are good enough to really make a splash in the general public and people that really haven't gotten a Kirby this is a great game to do so I mean you can pilot a robot it would be perfect and another big title we had was Kid Icarus Uprising. It was only the third game in the series, which is kind of hard to believe because of Myth and Monsters, is, it's, it's a very old game. But Kid Icarus Uprising did so much. It drastically changed the formula and gave the game life. It gave Pit a brand new life, like a voice where he could speak and Palutena was alive and well and all these different CPs and characters were really just vocal and it was a really great story aspect and a great beat-em-up game, which would be really fun to play on the Switch. But now the question is, how would you control Pit? Because in the game, you use the stylus to control him and to aim and all that stuff. Well, how do you do that here? Well, you don't really need the stylus control because I'm sure you can do this with dual analog controllers with the Joy-Con. And I don't really think you need a touchscreen for this game, but alas, it would be amazing to see this game return in HD because clearly Nintendo doesn't have any plans on making another Kid Icarus game at the moment. At least not right now because Sakurai is extremely busy with DLC pack probably number 50 by now. 
WarioWare Gold was a great collaboration of all things WarioWare, but it's not necessarily a game that I want to see on the Switch, rather a brand new style of game that is like this. I really want to see a brand new WarioWare game. Stop remaking and recreating and reinventing the past games and completely go from scratch and make your own brand new micro game, stuff that we have never seen before. I think the Switch is one of the greatest consoles for this because with the Wii you had the motion control gimmick and with the DS you had the stylus, well this time you have everything you could possibly need. You have the portability you have the Joy-Con for motion controls, you have it all. You even have that HD rumble that was so special and the briefing for the Nintendo Switch. So why not give WarioWare another shot on the Nintendo Switch? Just don't make it like Game & Wario. And the same thing goes for Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix, where I want a brand new Rhythm Heaven, not combined of past titles. I want it to be a brand new fresh take on Rhythm Heaven for the Nintendo Switch. If you've never played Rhythm Heaven, it's pretty much like WarioWare games, where they're small games based on rhythm-based movement, which you would pretty much just go along with the beat of whatever song or whatever type of jingle is playing within the game, which is a completely, incredibly clever way to play a video game. And it was a lot of fun, but once again, lots of the time it's on the 3DS, so it's kind of hard to have fun on a home console with your family. The only time we ever had Rhythm Heaven on a home console was with the Wii with Rhythm Heaven Fever. And then we finally get the revival of the 2D Metroid we've all been waiting for with Samus Returns, which was an excellent take. The graphics felt fresh, the environments were rich, and the gameplay was solid with the new use of Samus's counterattack, which was amazing to do slow-mo counters against big enemies. It was a really fun thing, and I would really love to see this on a Nintendo Switch. And if it's not this game, go ahead and just make it another one, or a sequel, or another remake of one of those past Zelda games, whether it be Metroid Fusion or Metroid Zero Mission. I think either one would work great with that new art style that they've created for Samus Returns, and with it being on the Switch, it's even going to be up the ante a lot with that brand new engine. So I cannot wait to see what's next for 2D Metroid. We all know Metroid Prime 4 is in the works, so this will hold us over until then. Mario Golf World Tour. Now hear me out, I understand it's not the most popular sport in the franchise, but we don't have a lot to work with here since the 3DS only gave us a tennis game, which we already had on the Wii U, and then on the Switch, uh, but that's pretty much it. We do have a sports mix title, but I don't like to talk about those because the sports are so bare bones since there's so many of them, and it just feels like another Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. But Mario Golf World Tour is by far the best version of Mario Golf we can find. The courses are extravagant, coming from all across the Mushroom Kingdom through Donkey Kong's Forest, all the way to Bowser's castles. And this is just an amazing example of how a real hard development time working on a sports title can turn out to be really great. The challenges are fun and challenging, and the character roster is expansive, with characters as obscure as Nabbit. I do have some titles that I didn't really bring up here, but I want to talk about real quick because of some small possibilities or they already have games coming out, such as Fire Emblem, which they already had three houses, and there might still be that unexpected remade game uh, coming that was canceled for the 3DS. You also have Animal Crossing, but there's no point since there's a brand new title coming in March. And then you also have Pokemon, which once again has a brand new first real home console Pokemon experience with Pokemon Sword and Shield. We then have some titles that did very good for the 3DS, but I'm not sure exactly how popular they were, uh, such as Ace Attorney and Professor Layton, which I know they have their respected groups, but are they popular enough to get a Switch port? I do not know, but if they do, I am very excited for you guys uh, to get those. And my last series I really want to talk about is the Mario and Luigi franchise, probably the biggest series on the 3DS handheld console. Now, I know the big problem with this is that the studio behind the series, Alpha Dream, has gone under. They have gone bankrupt, and it looks like it's very slow for any future Mario & Luigi title at the moment. But they could go take some time remaking some of the titles for the Switch. I know some of those remakes didn't do so hot on the 3DS already, so that might not be the right path. But whether they remake a game or come up with a completely new one for the Switch, I will be super excited to see this game finally on a home console after so long. And I say so long because you could take the Game Boy game and put it in your GameCube adapter to play it on your GameCube. But I really want to see this game on the big screen finally with HD graphics. I think it would be amazing, even as good as a Paper Mario title. Well guys, I come to you once again with the question, what 3DS title would you love to see on the Nintendo Switch? Obviously I couldn't cover them all, there's so many out there, uh, but this is where I leave it up to you in case I missed a very important one that you think needs to come to the Nintendo Switch. Which one of these do you think was the most important and which one would you really want? Do you really want to see a Mario & Luigi title get revived on the Switch? And do you think it will be big enough to finally get the sales that it needs to produce the series and to carry on? 
But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo and like the video if you guys enjoy. We are almost at 50,000 subs and we are trying to reach before the end of 2019. So thank you guys so much for tuning in every single day and supporting the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And like always, I hope you guys all have a great day. See you guys.